There are only four countries in the world that have technologies for production of civil turbojet engines – United States, France, UK and Russia. However, none of the manufacturers produce all the parts in its own country. Of course, you might think Western countries makes all the parts only in cooperation with other Western colleagues. However, it is far from being the truth. Russia is also a big part of this cooperation. Industrial Park located in the city of Ufa produces parts for an American aircraft engine giant Brad Whitney. The city of Ribbon's French company Snecma not only produces separate parts of the passenger jet engines, but also widely invested to Ribbon's itself, and it's not only because of the superjet engine Sam 146. United Engine Corporation and Saturn, located in the same city, produced parts for General Electric and Snecma engine CFM 56. Despite wide and global cooperation, it seems that Russia soon will become number one country in the world that produces fifth generation passenger jet engine completely on its own. It means not only separate parts of the engine, but 100% of the engine, as there is not only necessary technologies, but materials too. Company Technology in one of its press releases announced that manufacturers start production number of parts from Russian-made composites. RP Technology, a part of Rostec, produced and sent for testing two UEC Saturn sound-absorbing structures of the resonant type and burning panels made for one of the most prospective Russian engines. BD-14. Before those parts also were produced in Russia, however, all the materials were foreign-made. Because of the government program import substitution in the production of elements for PD-14, Technologia developed and manufactured completely new materials, aluminium and polymer honeycomb fillers, and adhesive films that ensure required characteristics. PD-14 engine without doubt can be named fully Russian-made, as all, from development and testing to smallest parts, are made in Russia. Another breakthrough technology has been tested for engine PD-35. To sum up the test results of the aircraft engine, blades made of polymer composite material in Moscow was held a special press conference with leading constructor of the UEC Aviadvigatel, Alexander Inazemtsev, and Deputy General Director, Head of Priority Technology Development in UEC Technology Aviadvigatelstrayenia, Valery Grykin, told journalists about new breakthrough technology that is about to be developed for PD-35 engine. After a long period of the development of PD-35, first results has been presented today. Composite blade technology is a key to make this engine. The thing is, the metal fan is way too heavy for this engine. Because of that, to lower the overall weight for that type of engines, manufacturers use composites. While now Russia does not own this technology, however, there are three prototypes made by this technology that are currently in process of testing. In July 27, 2020, PD-35 engine fan, designed to be a part of PD-14 engine and made of composites, took its first tests. Results show developers are on the right way and without doubt soon will be able to master this technology. This technology will allow to reduce fan weight by 30% compared with the one who has metal blades with it. Equipped on a way bigger PD-35, they will give considerable effect as it will lower engine weight. However, using them on a lighter PD-14 is also under consideration. It is important that Russian develops this completely on its own, as none of the three countries possessing technologies wants to share it. However, there is no doubt that Russia is capable to cross this obstacle. We are not only developing the technology of laying out and weaving key technologies in manufacturing composite blades, but the very materials that are used in making composites too. According to Alexander Nozemtsev, in making PD-35 engine, it is absolutely necessary to master over 20 technologies that will allow to create cutting-edge, competitive engine. First steps and following results leaves no doubt that it is just a matter of time for Russia to solve this hard task. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell.